Hello viewers, uh, welcome back to the course on matrix computation and its application. So today we are going to discuss a very important topic that is uh, uh, Jordan canonical form. So let us uh, start with that. Now suppose, suppose I have a matrix A that is of order n cross n. So it is a square matrix basically. And then we can find out its eigenvalue and eigenvectors. So I can define its uh, characteristic equation. So I can define the characteristic equation. So that is represented by taking the a minus lambda i determinant equal to zero. So that is the characteristic equation. And suppose its characteristic equation is I just tried it is a polynomial. So it is n cross n. I will get the nth degree polynomial. So suppose I get the uh, the characteristics uh, equation as maybe I write just lambda minus lambda one, maybe four lambda minus lambda two, five and lambda minus lambda three maybe I just write n minus 9 because if it is nth degree. So, suppose this is my n cross n matrix and this is the corresponding characteristics polynomial. And now root of this, so this is my characteristics polynomial and if I put equal to 0 then I get the roots lambda I will get lambda 1, lambda 1, lambda 1, lambda 1 and then it is 5 times, it is 4 times and the remaining is lambda 3, lambda 3 and so it is suppose n, nine, n minus 9 times. So in this case I will say that the, so these are the eigenvalues. So I can say that the eigenvalue lambda is equal to lambda 1 has algebraic multiplicity has algebraic multiplicity 4 because it is 4 times it is repeating or in the short form I can write that algebraic multiplicity just for the short form for lambda 1 is 4. Similarly, I can write down the algebraic multiplicity of lambda 2 is 5 and algebraic multiplicity of lambda 3 is n minus 9. So, this is we can write the algebraic multiplicity. Now, I want to find its eigenvectors. So, now to find eigenvectors, so what I need to do is that, so let us find the eigenvectors. So, first uh, I take for lambda is equal to lambda 1. So, what I need to do is that I will take matrix A and then I need to find eigenvector x corresponding to lambda 1, I should write x 1, okay. So, and x 1 is not 0, that we already know. So, basically I need to solve a minus lambda 1 i x 1 equal to 0. And from here I can say that I need to find out the value of this solution, it means I need to find the x 1 that belongs to the null space of a minus lambda 1 i or I can also write kernel of a minus lambda 1 i. Now suppose suppose 
the dimension of null space corresponding to the eigenvalue lambda 1 is 4. Suppose I have this 4, its dimension is 4, then I say that geometric multiplicity of of lambda is equal to lambda 1 is 4. So, it means that the geometric multiplicity of eigenvalue lambda 1 is equal to the dimension of the null space of a minus lambda 1 i. So, now here I can see that the algebraic multiplicity of lambda 1 is 4 and I also assume that its geometrical multiplicity is also 4. We also assume that also we assume that geometric multiplicity of lambda 2 is coming same as the algebraic multiplicity that is 5 and geometric multiplicity of lambda 3 is also coming same as n minus 9. Now, from here you see that the algebraic multiplicity of the eigenvalue is same as the geometric multiplicity of the eigenvalues. So, in this form, in this case we say that the matrix A is diagonalizable. and how it is diagonalizable. So, I can define the matrix P made up of eigenvectors. So, corresponding to the lambda 1 we have geometric multiplicity 4. So, it suppose that corresponding to lambda 1 I will get for uh, 4 eigenvectors they are linearly dependent. So, suppose I have maybe I just write here Mm, maybe I can write x 1, x 2, x 3, x 4 and then I can write corresponding to uh, lambda 2 I can write y 1, y 2, y 3, y 4, y 5 and then corresponding to z 1, z 2 like this one. So, this is my matrix P and all the the column vectors are linearly independent. So, I can define its P inverse and from there I can define my A P will be equal to P D and I can write my P T P inverse where D is my diagonal matrix which is having the eigenvalue at the diagonals. So, lambda 1, lambda 1, lambda 1, lambda 1, sorry, lambda 1, then lambda 2, lambda 2 like this one and all other elements are 0. So, this way it is I can say that my matrix A is diagonalizable. Now, so, up to here it is ok. Now, I see another thing I will see that what will happen if matrix A matrix A is symmetric. So, in this case suppose I have the matrix symmetric that is I have A transpose equal to A. So, what is going to happen in this case that when our matrix A is a symmetric matrix then the everything the things will change here. Now, we know that
that symmetric matrix I am talking about symmetric when I say symmetric means it is a real because otherwise it will become the Hermitian matrix when it is a complex. So, I am talking about the real matrix. So, I am talking about the, the real symmetric matrix has all eigenvalues real that we have already proved in my earlier videos that symmetric matrix has all the eigenvalues that are real. Also, I can show that also we can show that eigenvectors corresponding to different eigenvalues are orthogonal. So, that we can show. So, how we can show that? So, let us uh, do this one that I have a A transpose equal to A that is my matrix and let lambda 1 and lambda 2 are the eigenvalues. Okay. So, then corresponding I have suppose let v 1 and v 2 are corresponding eigenvectors. So, that I am able to find. Now, I want to show. So, it, it means that v 1 I have. So, it, it means that a v 1 is equal to lambda 1 v 1 and a v 2 is equal to lambda 2 v 2. And of course, my v 1 is not 0 and v 2 is not 0. Now, so let us suppose I take what is lambda 1 v 1. So, I just take this one, I write lambda 1 v 1 taking the dot product with v 2, this one I want to. Know. So, I can define this one as lambda 1 v 1 transpose v 2, that is that thing we know. Now, lambda 1 v 1 is a v 1. So, I can define here it is equal to a v 1 transpose v 2. From here I can write this as a v 1 transpose a transpose v 2. Now, I can write v 1 transpose a transpose v 2. I can write like this one. Now, a transpose is equal to a. So, I, I can write v transpose and this one I can write as a v 2, this is v 1 transpose and a v 2 is lambda 2 v 2. And from here I can write this as a lambda 2 v 1 transpose v 2, because this lambda 1 and lambda 2 are real. So, no problem. And from here and this is also I can write as lambda 1 v 1 transpose v 2. So, from here I can write that lambda 1 v 1 dot product v 2 is equal to lambda 2 v 1 dot product v 2, which implies that lambda 1 minus lambda 2 dot product v 1 v 2 is 0. Now, lambda 1 is not equal to lambda 2. So, that implies that my v 1 dot v 2 is 0. So, that shows that v 1 is orthogonal to v 2. It means for a symmetric matrix for a uh, different eigenvalue the corresponding eigenvectors are orthogonal to each other. So, from here I can say that in that case we can write A as P D P transpose, because instead of now what I do I write a matrix P made up of eigenvectors 
and that eigenvectors is uh, orthogonal to each other. So, in that case I will get my P inverse is equal to P transpose and the matrix P is orthogonal, orthogonal matrix. So, from here you can see that now this matrix A is diagonalizable and in this the corresponding uh, matrix P will be orthogonal. So, from here I can uh, write like this one in this case also also let we have a matrix B which can be written as some P D P transpose. Let us write this one. Then I just want to check what is B transpose. So, it will be P D P transpose transpose and that is equal to P transpose transpose D transpose P transpose where D is the diagonal matrix. and P is an orthogonal matrix. Let us write. So, from here I can write P and D the diagonal matrix of transpose is same and this will be P transpose and you see from here that is equal to B. So, which implies that B is a symmetric matrix. So, now from here I can write one important observation or a theorem that n or I can write a matrix a square matrix is orthogonally diagonalizable if if and only if a is a symmetric matrix it means if A is a symmetric matrix, then we already know that this is diagonalizable, orthogonally diagonalizable. And here we have seen that if a matrix B is orthogonally diagonalizable, then it is symmetric by this way. And whatever we have done here, it is called the matrix A is orthogonal. diagonalized. So, matrix A is orthogonal diagonalized or orthogonally diagonalized by this way. It means that the matrix P is orthogonal. So, this is the theor important theorem that if a matrix is orthogonally diagonalizable then definitely it should be symmetric and if a matrix is symmetric matrix then it definitely is orthogonally diagonalizable. So, this is a very important results uh, we have. Now, so, from here we have seen that if a matrix is symmetric and if I am able to write P D P transpose, then I can also write this as Eigen value decomposition. of matrix A that I am able to write the matrix A. So, A is a symmetric matrix of course, we know that. So, the matrix A if I write in this form where P is orthogonal matrix then 
D is the diagonal matrix. having the eigenvalues at the diagonal like this one we have defined this is my d and if we are able to write in this form then we say that the matrix A is a diagonal value decomposition of the matrix A. So, this we can do for a matrix which is symmetry matrix. We have also seen in the starting that if the algebraic multiplicity of the eigenvalue is same as the geometric multiplicity, then the matrix A is always diagonalizable that we have already seen. Now, the thing is coming that what happen if any matrix a that is n cross n is not diagonalizable. So, this type of uh, things happens when we have repeated eigenvalues, repeated eigenvalues, because in the starting one we have shown that this eigenvalue is repeating 4 times, this eigenvalue is repeating 5 times and this is n minus 9 times. So, whenever we have uh, repeated eigenvalues then it may diagonalizable or may not. So, that is uh, one of the very important uh, question about the matrix. So, and it happens when the repeated eigenvalue because when we have a distinct eigenvalue then the corresponding eigenvector will be linearly independent and that will be diagonalizable. So, now we are want to see that what is going to happen now in this case. So, from here now we can say that if, if A is here my A is symmetric. but here it is any arbitrary matrix. So, this is my any arbitrary matrix A. Now, if A is not diagonalizable, then we can define my matrix A that is equal to P some j P inverse that we can do, where my j is called Jordan block matrix or we also called Jordan canonical form. So, this matrix J is a Jordan block we call it. So, what is the J here? So, J is not a diagonal matrix but J has the Jordan block of this type suppose. So, this is we can do for here. So, let us see that suppose A is I just take 3 cross 3 matrix and suppose its eigenvalue is lambda lambda lambda. So, this is my repeated eigenvalue here and so I can define at the algebraic multiplicity or lambda is 3 and let geometric multiplicity of lambda is 2. So, I just uh, let us take the all the cases. So, let us uh, take this cases on the next one. So, case 1. So, I am writing like this one. So, 3 eigenvalue repeated eigenvalue. Eh? So, case 1 let 
algebraic multiplicity of lambda is 3 and geometric multiplicity geometric multiplicity of lambda is also 3. So, in this case my j will be d it is just the diagonal matrix. So, in this case my j will be lambda 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 0 0 0 like this one case 2 let geometric multiplicity of lambda is 2. It means that here that the null space of a minus lambda i in the dimension is 2. It means we are able to find only 2 linearly independent vectors Eigen vectors. So, which implies that 2 linearly independent Eigen vectors here 3 linearly independent Eigen vectors. So, here I am able to find only 2 linearly independent Eigen vector. So, in this case I can write my Jacobian So, I have lambda, lambda, lambda. So, it will be 3. Now, I have only 2 linearly independent Eigen vector. So, in that case, my Jordan block matrix will be of this type or my J will be lambda of this type. So, this is my Jordan block or the Jordan matrix and this is one of the block. So, this is I just write one of the block this one. So, this is corresponding to one Eigen vector one Eigen vector and this is corresponding to one diagonal. So, it is just the diagonal elements no problem. Here also one Jordan block. So, this is one of the Jordan block corresponding to one Eigen vector another vector Eigen vector is coming from here. So, this is the another Jordan block. So, one Jordan block means corresponding to one Eigen value. So, this is the form we can have in this case and now I will take the case 3 geometric multiplicity of lambda is suppose 1. So, let uh, geometric multi, uh, multiplicity of lambda is equal to 1. So, in this case we have only one linearly independent Eigen vector. So, in that case I will get my matrix as lambda 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 it is 1 writing just 1 above the lambda and 1 here 0 0. So, it is the type of upper triangular matrix and this is my Jordan block and corresponding to to one Eigen vector. So, this is my Jordan form of the given matrix. So, based on this one I can write that my matrix A P is equal to P J where P is made up of the vectors x 1, x 2, x 3 in this case. Now, you see that in this case if I take the case 1 then this x 1, x 2, x 3 will be linear independent no problem. If you take the case 2 in this case only I have able to get only 2 linear independent Eigen vectors. So, suppose this is the Eigen vectors this and this and the x 3 I will find from the uh, from a method. So, in this case I can say that 
uh, when matrix A is not diagonalizable, then I have a P on this form and then x 1, x 2, x 3 are called generalized eigenvectors. So, these are called the generalized eigenvectors. So, I will see that which one is generalized eigenvector and which one is uh, not the generalized vector. So, I just uh, write the definition first. So, just uh, stop here uh, this one and we will write down the uh, generalized eigen definition of uh, uh, generalized eigenvector. So, in this case, so let us write down. Now, suppose I have a matrix A that is n cross n and this is is not diagonalizable then in that case i want to find then suppose i have a x so x suppose x then suppose A x is equal to lambda x. Is not diagonalizable then, then a vector x is called a is called a generalized eigenvector of matrix A of order M if order M associated with with eigenvalue lambda if a minus lambda i power m x is 0 and a minus lambda i power m minus 1 x is not equal to 0. So, then only I will say that this vector x is a generalized eigenvector and this we find when the matrices are not diagonalizable. So, now we can see that how we can define this one. So, now from here I will tell you that how we can find the uh, Jordan form of the given matrix. So, I will just take the example. Let us take one example. Suppose I have a matrix A and that is matrix I just take 3 cross 3 matrix. Let So, this matrix suppose I take this matrix and this matrix having repeated Eigen values lambda, lambda, lambda all the 3 Eigen values are repeating. Then <coughs> now and let let the Jordan form of A is this one. Suppose it is this one lambda 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 1 0 1 
0 0 0. So, this is my Jordan form of A is given to us. It means only one linearly independent eigenvector. Now, what I am going to do is that now from here suppose my I get my matrix P. So, P is made up of suppose this eigenvector x1, x2, x3. Of course, it is a generalized eigenvector. So, let us I write like this one and from here I get my matrix A P is equal to P J. So, I can write from here that this is my A and this is suppose x1, x2, x3 all the eigenvector written as a column vector and this I can write as x1, x2, x3 and this j I am writing lambda, lambda, lambda 1, 1, 0. So, this is given to me because I have taken that suppose my matrix is A and having the repeated eigenvalue and let us see Jordan form is this form or the Jordan matrix. I can write the Jordan matrix here. I can see from here that A x 1 now can be written as I am just taking the first column multiplied by A. Again here also I am writing because A is 3 cross 3, it will be 3 cross 3. So, it is 3 cross 3 and this is also 3 cross 3. Now, A x 1 I can write as multiplying this column. So, that gives me lambda x 1. Now, from here I can say that x 1 is A is an eigen vector of is eigen vector of A corresponding to lambda eigen value. Now, I can write A x 2 here multiplying the second column and here also I am multiplying this second column with this matrix. So, it will give you x 1 plus lambda x 2 and from here I can write that A minus lambda i x 2 is equal to x 1. Now, this is uh, we are able to write. Now, what I do is that I will multiply by lambda i both side. So, it will get lambda square x 2 A minus lambda i x 1. I just multiply with this matrix and a minus lambda i x this I can write from here that a minus lambda i x 1 is equal to 0. So, from here I can get this value 0. So, from here I can write that a minus lambda i square x 2 is 0 and a minus lambda i power 1 x 2 is not 0 that we have already seen. So, from here I can say that x 2 is a generalized Eigen vector of order 2 associated with the associated with lambda. So, this is we are able to write. So, I can write this one as maybe 1, 2 and then this is from here I can write that is 3. Now, uh, now I am taking the third column. So, from third column I can write now A x 3. So, if you take A x 3 now multiplying by this way. So, I will get my x 2 plus lambda x 3 
and now so maybe I can just uh, instead of giving this numbers maybe I can write here first part second part step. So, I can write steps first step second step and then I can write third step. So, third step is this one now from here you will see that I can write a minus lambda i x 3 is equal to x 2. Now, so from here you will see that a minus lambda i x 2 is equal to x 3 a minus lambda i I just multiply by both side and I will get a minus lambda i x 2 because I am just multiplying by a minus lambda i on the both side. Now, a minus lambda i x 2 is not 0. So, again I will write this one. So, also I will write a minus lambda i cube multiplying both side by this one. So, I can write a minus lambda i square x 2 and now a minus lambda i square x 2 is 0. So, this gives me 0. So, from here I can say that a minus lambda i cube x 3 is 0 and a minus lambda i square x 3. So, that is already we have seen the square this is not 0. So, I can say that x 3 is a generalized Eigen vector of order 3. X 2 was the order 2, now it is order 3 associated with with lambda. So, this way we are able to find x 1, x 1, x 2 and x 3 and then I can write my p will be x 1, x 2, x 3. And then based on this one, I can define my matrix A that will be P J P inverse. So, in this case, the thing is that the P is invertible, but P is not the orthogonal matrix. So, it means that I can write for any matrix, I can write in this form whether it is diagonalizable or not, but we always can write the uh, Jordan form of a given matrix. So, this way we can say that for any matrix A, we can write its, we can write its Jordan form and this is my Jordan form of the given matrix A. So, it means that I start with the matrix and I showed that if it is a diagonalizable it is ok, but if it is not diagonalizable then what we can do. Then we have seen that the things become simpler when the matrix P becomes the diagonal matrix or uh, orthogonal matrix and that is only possible when we have the matrix A is a symmetric matrix. So, if a matrix is symmetric then we know that it is diagonally orthogonally diagonalizable and with that one we are able to uh, find this p t in, instead of p inverse. So, that is the one of the benefit and then we have also seen here that if the matrix is not diagonalizable then at least we can write its Jordan form and this is the way we have shown that how we can write the different different type of Jordan forms for depending upon the, the geometric multiplicity of the eigenvalues. And this is the way, this is the procedure that we can find out the generalized eigenvector for the corresponding eigenvalue lambda. So, maybe in the next lecture we will discuss some example and let you know that how we can define the generalized eigenvector for a given matrix. So, we will stop here. 
So, in the lecture today we have discussed about that which type of matrices are diagonalizable and when the eigenvalues are repeating then we know that matrix may or may not be diagonalizable and then we have defined the another form that is called a Jordan form and we have shown that any matrix A can be written in the form of a Jordan blocks. And uh, so in the next lecture we will continue with this one and we will discuss some example based on that. So I hope uh, that you have enjoyed this one, uh, thanks for watching, uh, thanks very much. Thank you.